Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Bit Crusher in BandLab on a drum track. A virtual instrument track. And even on a vocal track. Take me to the river. Take me to the river. Plus, of course, how to create the classic 8 bit game sound. On the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon and tap on Virtual Instruments. At the top of the screen, tap on the Drum Kits icon and tap on the Dry Drum Kit. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the Step Sequencer icon and tap on the grid to add a drum beat. At the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. At the bottom of the screen, tap on Effects. Then tap on the plus icon. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, scroll through the tabs and tap on the Distortion tab. Then tap on Bit Crusher. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word Bits, to the left to reduce the bit depth. The bit depth sets the number of levels of amplitude. So very basically, dragging the dot on the line to the left increases the amount of digital clipping distortion that is added to the sound and also increases the amount of white noise distortion that is added to the sound. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word intensity to the right to reduce the sample rate. Sample rate is rather more complicated to explain, but very basically, reducing the sample rate causes stray harmonics to be added to the sound. So dragging the dot to the right increases the amount of these stray harmonics that are added to the sound. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mix to the left to reduce the effect of the bit crusher on the sound. For a classic computer drum sound, drag the dot on the line to the right of the word bits, so it says 6 under the word bits. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word intensity, so it says about 84% under the word intensity.
and drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mix so it says 100% under the word mix. Here I have used the Jazz Drum Kit, but you can use any drum kit you like, and each of the drum kits will give you a different sound. For a classic computer virtual instrument sound, drag the dot on the line to the right of the word bits, so it says 8 under the word bits. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word intensity, so it says about 60% under the word intensity. And drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mix, so it says 100% under the word mix. Here I have used the grand piano but analog style sounds like super saw and plucked lead are good alternatives. The bit crusher has also more recently been used as a vocal effect. So here is a suggested setup for vocals. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word bits. So it says five under the word bits. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word intensity, so it says about 19% under the word intensity. And drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mix, so it says 100% under the word mix. Take me to the river. Take me to the river. Adding a multi filter effect with a high pass filter works quite well with the bit crusher, too. Take me to the river. Take me to the river. On the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on virtual instruments. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Leads tab. Then scroll down the list and tap on the Plucked Lead. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the Step Sequencer icon. Now, Add alternate notes to D3 and A3. Then, at the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Now tap on effects at the bottom of the screen. Tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the FX screen and tap on the Distortion tab. Then tap on Bit Crusher. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word bits, so it says 8 below the word bits. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word intensity, so it says about 50% below the word intensity. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mix, so it says 100% below the word mix. At the top left of the FX screen, 
tap on the back arrow. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the X icon. On the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on virtual instruments. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the organs tab. Then tap on simple organ. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the step sequencer icon. Now add the following notes. D4 across squares 1 to 4. E4 on square 7. F4 across squares 9 to 12. G4 on square 15. A4 on square 17. G4 on square 19. And F4 across squares 21 to 24. Then at the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Now tap on FX at the bottom of the screen. Tap on the plus icon. At the top of the FX screen, tap on the plus icon. Scroll through the tabs at the top of the FX screen and tap on the distortion tab. Then tap on bit crusher. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word bits, so it says 8 below the words bits. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word intensity, so it says about 45% below the word intensity. Drag the dot on the line to the right of the word mix, so it says 100% below the word mix. At the top left of the FX screen, tap on the back arrow. At the top right of the FX screen, tap on the X icon. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.